Hey, uh, hi all. Uh, this is Hari Prasad. Um, uh, hang here. I am in front of you to demonstrate uh, a simple sample survey demo that uh, I have come up for the uh, Indian Bollywood industry. So uh, uh, this is basically to demonstrate what Tipco Spotfire can give us uh, in terms of the analytical capabilities. Uh, Tipco Spotfire is one of the leading BA vendors in terms of the predictive analytics space. Uh, uh, while evaluating the many tools, it stands apart as of now in terms of the its tight integration with the R and the ease of use to use the uh, predictive modelings. So let us see an uh, online survey analytics and let us understand what is the use case here. Let us understand the data first, then we will go to the descriptive statistics of it and then we will go to the predictive statistics of it. So let us go to the uh, data as it is now. So the data is, as I told you earlier, it is about a uh, Bollywood movie survey. It's an app which will be there in your mobile. Uh, so uh, it's an imaginary app. You will be going to one movie and uh, it will ask you uh, three questions. You will enter those three questions about that movie. And uh, if you're lucky, uh, you might uh, win a a uh, new movie ticket for the uh, next movie or you might get a reward point which you can collect over the period of the time and can uh, get a uh, movie ticket out of it something like that so basically what we are more interested towards is the data and you can see here the data uh, there is a question, there is a movie, there is a, a location of that particular user in the table and you have the answers uh, marked in that table in, in, in terms of the ratings and there is a heat. Now, our, our interest is towards the heat. Heat is nothing but the weightage or the business impact factor for that particular question. For example, how much do you rate this movie is if it is a 3 out of 5, then uh, heat is 3, that's fine. But would you like to recommend this movie if it is 0, then it is completely 0. Uh, I mean, if it is like a uh, negative impact and if the, would you like to recommend movie is yes, then it is nothing but 5. As you can see over here, it is 5. So it's like a, a cascading effect will be there in terms of the statistics. When you like a movie, you say to three more people, they will go to the theater, they will watch the movie and so on. So it's a high business impact. So this is about the data. Now what is that which, which, we, try, which we are trying to do over here? So any business intelligence tool is nothing but giving answer to the questions. That's it. So we have some questions, we will uh, divide it into predictive question and the descriptive questions. So uh, the term descriptive is nothing but which will tell you uh, the as it is from this data without any prediction as it is what I can understand. That is the descriptive and uh, statistics and when we come to the predictive statistics, it is nothing but inferential statistics. We can infer something based on this data and the historical data, learn something out of the historical data and predict some of the things. So let us go for one by one questions and we will uh, understand what are the uh, visualizations available in the Tipco Spot file. Okay, let's go to the descriptive statistics. You can see here I have created uh, three visualizations uh, out of here, uh, which each visualization is uh, mapping for the respective questions. So my question is, what is the mood of viewer about movie, heated up or ice cold? So I want to know what is the mood of the audience about my movie. So it is obviously based on the heat. So more the heat, more will be the uh, uh, interest of the uh, viewer about the movie. And there is a, there can be an average uh, heat of the, about the movie or uh, and no heat at all. People are not watching at all or not released in that location or something like that. So you can see here uh, uh, in the, for example, movie Doom 3 uh, and X-Men is our sample data set, uh, our sample data movies over here. You can see uh, in uh, a state called as Tamil Nadu, the... Uh, 
feeling or the heat towards the movie is more and they are more excited towards the movie you can say like that so average it is 3.50 if you come to the karnataka people are not much interested about that movie it might be possibility of the different reasons uh, so the average it is 1.75 now if you come to the uh, kerala uh, the uh, x men is not released there at all or in karnataka it is not released at all it's there in tamil nadu only you can see the tamil nadu if you observe the uh, this uh, uh, screen uh, carefully whenever you go to the respective states or one particular quadrant of any chart uh, corresponding data entries of the other charts will get highlighted automatically so if you go to karnataka the karnataka part is got highlighted in the map chart in the audience share per state if you go to tamil nadu the respective tamil nadu portion is got highlighted and it's very uh, interactive in terms of understanding things and if you want to see the details for example in the kerala if you see the details this is the user detail of the kerala there is c there is b how how the data is there in the table that's what it's giving to you so this is about what is the mood of the viewer about the movie you can see it is heated up it is average it's cold over here now let's see the audience share per state what is the share of audience with respect to the state so it's a simple pie chart i have a, uh, if you see here for the if you say there are uh, 100 audience out of them uh, 71.4% of audience are going to tum three or it also can be inferred in terms of 70 out of the people who has my app and he was given the data 71.4% went to do uh so so many people might not be using my app right so that's also true so here is the 71.4% of the users over here and uh, rest of the users going to xmen so that's that's how it belongs and when you click on this one you can see the corresponding blocks got highlighted and you can see here uh, by the location wise i want to see can i see the mood of my users in a map i want to see like for example now this is a small data set which i have taken it's not a huge data set so the uh, map points are not very huge but still you can uh, see the beauty of this one and that the mood of the user if i want to see it in the kerala karnataka different places it's very nice nicely it is coming over here you can see Uh, you can zoom it out you can see average sheet over here is this much and what about in karnataka you can see in the karnataka what is the average sheet and that is 1.75 in kerala what is the average sheet that is a 2.50 which is an uh, kind of an average over here so so on, so on and so forth and also we can do lot of filtering over here based on, for example you want to see the data only for uh, for example say let us say doom 3 uh, we can see only for the doom 3 and you can see what is the data over here but obviously it won't give the audience share per state properly because you are only comparing one movie so that's not the appropriate might be just for uh, i mean you will leave out the karnataka check for the kerala and tamil nadu yeah now the data is proper i mean you can see the visualizations make sense isn't it so this is about the descriptive statistics that we are discussing about now we would like to have an inferential statistics now for the inferential statistics let's have the weekend box office collection so as you can see uh, here is the prediction of weekend collection of movies considering that heat to box office is linear so uh, it's like more the people interested in the movie more people are going to the movie but uh, in real world it's not linear uh, in fact it's an it might be an exponential usually people uh, it the word spread very fast so sometimes if i have a five people uh, of my friends i will say my my friends uh, five friends uh, movie is awesome let's go for the movie so uh, that's how it works Uh, but uh, it's fine let's uh, for the sake of this analytics let's take it as a linear uh, uh, but also we need to understand here uh, that when we say that okay linear uh, depending upon the heat uh, if the one person uh, is only one person only watched in kerala 
one state and 10 people washed in another state and average of the 10 people is 2.5 and that one person in another state like this movie very much and if he says that i like i want to give this entire average it is 5 uh, then your statistics will uh, uproot itself so uh, you know, what you need to also need to do is you need to multiply the uh, uh, particular user uh, count uh, with the uh, heat and then you need to multiply with the uh, box office in cross now th that's the reason when uh, where the point big data will come into picture uh, where uh, there's a huge sample of data will be taken there is no one uh, data two data kind of thing which are kind of outliers what we call as liars uh, which will be there in the extreme end so uh, this needs to be uh, negotiated rectified and it can be uh, done uh, with a uh, uh, common sense and there's a tool also available in the same uh, tipco spotfire which can do the visualization for you in terms of that so uh, let us not go to that complexity of the data let us imagine for our sake that uh, user count and uh, uh, is uh, ignored over here so more the heat more will be the uh, profit as simple as that so there's a linear if you see the recent historical observation and sample imaginary sheet which you have taken for the reference so if the heat is one box office in uh, crore in the weekend is 10 crore you can get uh, if the, it's a uh, average it is two then you can get uh, 20 if um, uh, mood is three then 30 if it's uh, above average then it is 40 crores if it is uh, it's great it's wonderful uh, the movie is awesome then it is 50 crores so now uh, i have a, a sheet which says what is the average heat for the respective movies so i want to predict the weekend collection for it and i want to do it automatically i don't want to do it manually i want the uh, system to predict it for me for example it is as simple as that like uh, based on this data historical observation predict the weekend collection so that's what i want to do so what i did was uh, i created a model called as linear regression model so uh, it's a big term to think about but it's as simple as this so what exactly it's doing is you can see here in the historically what is the uh, if we plot a graph what, is, what how the graph will look like 10 20 30 40 50 so it's a linear in terms of the heat correct so if you are having one then box office in close is 10 to 20 what about 2.2 it will be 2.20 and sorry oh, sorry why it's like uh, 20.20 so that that's how it will work right multiply by 10 kind of thing so it's a linear right you will get a straight graph so i am using a linear regression where you know, box office uh, is linearly dependent upon the heat and i applied that uh, as a predictive analytics for them uh, this particular uh, sheet or the table where I wanted to uh, uh, include one more column which will which can predict you know, what is the weekend collection based on historical observation. So uh, my well, first movie that is Doom 3 average heat is 2.33 so my predicted weekend collection is 23 crores and if uh, I, I am having X-Men which is having 2.83 uh, my predicted weekend collection 28.30 but you can see x-men has only one state and it's really only one user has entered still it is going for 28.30 which is not true that's the reason i told there are outliers in the data so when you get a sample data which is higher you will not end up in the errors like this the statistical errors you would get that's the reason we use the term uh, the big data uh, uh, analytics and the sample space analytics the sampling has to be done accordingly so there is an bar chart which will compare the predicted weekend collection between two so this based this data is a predicted one based on our model which we created yes so uh, we can see here this is 
quite a uh, uh, intriguing tool and this particular analytics the prediction or how the tipco is calculating internally is uh, it is connecting uh, it is having a wonderful architecture where uh, it got uh, merged with the uh, one of the uh, most famous open source uh, r anal uh, analytical uh, statistical package tool that is the r analytics uh, so uh, it merged with that and it is uh, optimized that for the commercial purposes and it's a server side in instead of um, uh, the client side uh, memory analytics that they're trying to develop over here and uh, because of that uh, the uh, creation of the model and uh, application of that model uh, is quite easy Yes, you need to be good in statistics for this, uh, but uh, for, uh, this is a unique tool because uh, it can give you descriptive analytics in very simple manners, very easy to administrate and uh, produce the reports on the fly and uh, very valuable reports. At the same time, it will help you to mine your data that we call it data mining or unearth your data. So that's it for for my analysis of the typical spot fair as of now. Uh, I feel in terms of the this is my verdict in terms of the data mining. Uh, if you see uh, currently this its capabilities and the ease of use is better than that of Oracle Business Intelligence and the uh, tab view. Uh, but Oracle Business Intelligence is far ahead in terms of the using of a data warehouse model and asking intelligent questions on top of uh, data warehouse. Uh, but take a spot fire for Ansem. Uh, for the predictive analytics and the ease of use of the predictive analytics using the statistics, uh, this goes far ahead. So, uh, uh, the verdict is if you're having a data warehouse, if you want to have a star schema, go for the OBI. That's wonderful. Uh, if you want to have uh, analytics based on the kind of a big data analytics and you, know, you want to have the features of the R in very simple way, even OBI has R integration the current version but uh, this R integration is one of the best I have seen by, by far so that's my verdict and that's my demo small demo this is Hari Prasad thanks for listening